Welcome back everyone for this next update of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Today we're carrying on with the final part of Hengsha and we're just at the docks here ready to go off to Tong's mysterious lead that will send us towards Megan Reed of course. I like the admiration of the skybox there. Yeah, uh, this was a really nice level. If you've actually seen the uh, some of the trailers for Deus Ex where you see Barrett beating up Jensen uh, this was where the boss fight with Barrett was meant to take place because you could see in the background that skybox but as you uh, just saw there on the minimap we need to get across to that warehouse before we can get into the docks which means crossing a compound and as always there's multiple ways of uh, getting there and here we have a crossbow I never looked at the crossbow but hey why not it's an interesting weapon. Uh, it's lethal. Basically the lethal version of the tranquilizer rifle. When you hit people, it does something to their ragdoll. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing the worm. And of course with crossbows, uh, you can retrieve the ammo sometimes, but it broke there. Just like everything else in Jensen's life. Well, we're going to go fix it now. That's the idea. Absolutely. Uh, going to fix it and we're going to find Megan Reed and fix everything. But uh, here's a nice little thing. I didn't really go through the whole concept here, but uh, sometimes with these doors, you can open them <laughs> like that yeah. and close it behind you. And you saw there on the video feed that well, one of the guards just ran straight through. And what you can do with that is you can isolate the guards and knock them out one by one. Open the gate and it will attract a new guard who will notice the body. The new guard will travel over to the body. You lock the gate behind him. And you can very slowly take everyone out without having to step a foot in the compound. That is so amazing. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, it's a fun thing to do. It's one of those nice little Easter eggs, but you get noticed in the process and you can lose your ghost ranking. So. I'd see it more as a very convenient glitch, but that's that's great. It's more of an exploit than a glitch, but yeah. It, it's like throwing the gas mines on the wall when enemies are triggered into the room. Uh, which happened a few updates ago, but like, just like then, you lose your ghost rank. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, hey, you, you did all that, but you could just go in the side there with that box. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you obviously need to lift the box, or you can shoot through it. But it's, it's still a nice little thing you can do there. So this is actually a full 15 minutes of gameplay there. Finally, there's no... Massive cutscenes. It's nice, one of those nice sections where it's a long stretch of um, gameplay before the actual ramping up of the plot happens, where we get a lot of resolutions to some of the threads. A, lo a long stretch of us talking and guards uh, being choked out. Did you just say jerked out? No, no, choked out. Oh, okay. It's not uh, that kind of game, Tim. Uh, oh, that would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the porno spoof. Deus Buck Sex hum Two Man Revolution. <laughs> oh wow, very quick, well done. Yeah. Now someone in the thread make it happen. No. So yeah, we've just got a load of um, emails that are checking through. Pause to read that. It's just law building. Um, I never really mentioned this in one of the updates, but I really like. I'm one of these people that reads all the books in Skyrim. Oh um, god, I have not got the patience or the ability to do that. See, I kind of like doing that sort of thing because it makes the game world that I'm in feel more in-depth. It, it's not just a 3D environment where I'm some torso with a camera on top wandering through with an iron sight in front of me. Or a sword in Skyrim's case. Uh, yeah, um, it, it, because it actually feels like there's dynamics to the world. There are other people that you don't see. And especially if you're building um, a science fiction or a fantasy, that's a really important thing to do to help establish your universe to make it feel more real. Um, not really something you need to do in, I guess, military shooters because they're grounded in reality, but... Uh, if you can make something feel more lived in, and this works with films, um, theatre, novels as well, 
uh, the, there's little details that you want to put in, just little nods to things uh, that make it feel more lived in. Counterpoint to this argument, uh, Final Fantasy XIII, where you're just thrown a novellatory to understand what's happening. I don't want to talk about that game. It makes me feel tired. <laughs> Fair play. Uh, but yeah, we just picked up a damage upgrade for the uh, laser rifle. Uh, which we're going to want to level up the laser rifle as much as we can. It's going to make uh, the point that we use it in a lot easier for us. I'm still blown away by the fact that you can shoot it through... Uh through windows and such. Is it really that much of a revelation? The... It's a human revelation. I'm sorry, no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna excuse myself from the LP from this point on. I'm done. So I'm out. After after you decide to ransack the uh, sort of left bank there, we're gonna go underneath there. We just turned off the filters. That doesn't give you any extra cover against the robot there. We can't shut this guy off, but we are going to stalk him because that's going to take us to our objective marker. Which is in this box ahead of us, I see. Lovely. You sure could teach my boys some tricks, Jensen. Tong? How did you get this frequency? Ancient Chinese secret. Now listen, you're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go. So yeah, we've got to plant a bomb to make a distraction before we get in. Uh, we've got a sleeping guy ahead of us. We've never actually looked at sleeping guards, but... You can make a bit of noise around them, but something like a gunshot will wake them up. Or other guards. But we're just Man. gonna take him out because he's an extra guy in the way. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what it would were you be saying? so it would be so helpful if uh more of these guards were, you know, sleeping. Uh on it's his it's his, he's on his break. They've got a good union going, so they have to you know, have at least an hour's break for food and whatever. He's just decided to snap. Anyway, I didn't really uh, mention this when I was marking them, but there are snipers in this level. And this is one of the things that Deus Ex occasionally manages to do well. This guy luckily survived here anyway. Uh, Deus Ex, uh, if you're playing at stealth, or a lot of games where you have the option of playing at stealth, don't really ramp up the difficulty. Um, it's mainly for the use of spawning guys, but if you don't get spotted by the guys in the first place because you're climbing around on the ceiling, then there's not much challenge, but this level in particular uh, manages to increase the difficulty for people sneaking by the snipers uh, because they can obviously look over with unlimited range of the whole level from their vantage point, so their main guys that you're going to want to take out if you're sneaking around. And marking them allows me to track their movements and see which areas they're looking over. And as a reminder for those people who like to run and gun, when you do get into the range of a sniper, you're not just like instantly knocked the fuck down for it. You get to see the uh, laser sight, which gives you an idea of where they're coming from, at least. So that's Absolutely. always very helpful. Not always in Dare Sex, but you can. Actually, I don't think it does do that in Dare Sex. I'm sure. I am sure. I remember seeing some lasers waving around in my face before I unceremoniously get killed. Maybe, but anyway, we managed to leap behind this guy. This. Uh, it's one of the first guys you're going to want to take out if you're going to want to scan the area. You can skip past him, but taking him out allows us to get access to the, all the other guys and thus all the other information because he hasn't got anyone looking over him. Should have addressed for drop off there, but still hit him. Oh, nice. Lovely. I like that it's delayed, that <laughs> he has to wait a moment before he realises that he's been knocked out. Absolutely, yeah, and um, actually I didn't mention this either, uh, but if you'll notice, a lot of the times when I've been playing through uh, the game that I've been picking up nearly every item I see, like guards, weapons and ammo, uh, because I've been using it to sell off to the uh, merchants around the place, we don't run into any more merchants in the game excluding the DLC. The DLC is separate. 
uh, but we don't run into any more merchants, so there's no use picking anything that we don't need up. I did pick up a peps in case I was going to need it in the final level, if I felt like using it. But apart from that, just drop everything else. There's no point in carrying it. It doesn't do anything for you. There we go. There was our uh, speed reading session. I took all of that in. Who are you, JFK? I, you know, the wonders of world building. I don't know if I'd completely agree with the with the notion of having a shit ton of text in games to build the world. It doesn't always have to be text. Sometimes it's the, the, there are radio stations that play in the background. We haven't heard it much because I fast forward for all the boring sneaking and waiting. That's that's how uh, Fallout Three builds its world, and I do like that method. With um, the radio, yeah, radio stations. Yeah, uh, usually in games they. In open world games, they have that sort of thing where a radio station will sort of talk about the main character's actions. So you get to see some of the repercussions of what you do. As I say, it's partly world building and giving a sense of what you do matters. Uh, with Deus Ex, it's more focused on the world around Jensen. Um, because, again, he's a man behind the shadows. He's not the focus of the news and whatnot. It would be funny if the game did make an effort to focus on the exploits of you, the player, because your game would be so confused right now. Your game world would be like, shit is happening and we don't know why. Guards are falling asleep at random, all over God. the place. <laughs> on Fox News they'd have an article about how unionised um, warehouse guards are lazy and constantly fall asleep and can't do their job. <laughs> when it's just Adam Jensen going around knocking people out. Adam Jensen is Fox News. I think Fox News would have been shut down in, in this universe. Uh, they wouldn't exist because all their viewers would be dead from old age. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. So yeah, uh, this is some information about Tower Young Medical and Bell Tower. All of these little cases are filled with people. They're making Soylent Green, apparently. Oh. No, they're Clearly test subjects, they could be strays picked off off the streets, or... Um, Due to my uh, hazy memory, I was thinking clones on a genuine note, so... Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played this in goddamn ages now. You're thinking of Star Wars, that's the one we're close to. Oh yeah, I always get that mixed up with Deus Ex, Human Revolution. <laughs> Such an easy mistake to make. It's your mistake. A, uh, no, uh, this is sort of a, um, doesn't go into it too much in this level, we get to see it more in the DLC, but it's kind of a commentary on the, uh, a conspiracy theory where Guantanamo Bay is actually a medical facility and, uh, all the inmates there who are, in real life, you know Guantanamo Bay is people being picked off. Yeah, yeah, uh, not yeah. necessarily by random, but they're tortured regardless of whether they committed crimes or not. It's kind of the idea that those people are sent to a medical facility and are used as te test subjects. And we get to see that later in the game. Much, oh, I'm sad that that, as interesting as that was, I'm sad that we didn't get a comment on uh, Jensen's continual ghost, fa ghost phasing powers. Well, we are a ghost rank, so, you know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, he's, uh, luckily that guy's okay. I wanted to move them out of the way just in case, because we are setting off a bomb, for God's sakes. Um, sometimes cutscene actions you make in the game can kill people. Oh dear. That was... Yeah, so you have to be, it's, it's not sure if it shows up in this level, but it definitely shows up in one of them. Uh, that hasn't happened yet. That would be a really shit way of losing your ghost rank at this point in the game. You have to pay attention to these things and think about it. You can't... Deus Ex wants you to think. It doesn't want you to just sit idly by drooling into your own filth. Like I do in my playthroughs. Absolutely. As we saw there on the computers, some of the office workers are being bullied by... Bell Tower. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the desk <laughs> nerds are being bullied by the PMC. Deus Ex. Office politics. Oh no. I'm going to get augmented, that will show Bill. He stole my soda. Again. 
Who keeps stealing my things from the fridge? Lifts up the th fridge and throws it. <laughs> so once we've cleared out this level, now we get to activate the bomb. And next stop is the DLC, The Missing Link. Fantastic. All new content for me. Shit! Distraction wasn't just for me, was it, Tom? Richard, I'm going off the grid for a while. Not sure how long. Why? What are you up to, Jensen? Following a lead. And where exactly is this lead taking you? You there! Get that cargo, clear the fire! We're pulling out now! Load it, secure those pods! Answer me, Jensen. Where are you going? Hell if I know, Pritchard. Hell if I know. <laughs> 